Taking off the bagger here. Not too hard to take off the back part. There's two bolts there, two bolts on each side. That comes off. Oh, taking off the rear hydraulic kit, blower fan. This had a, where the blower fan mounted, so we're taking that off. We're going to be selling all this too. We don't really need the bagger, so that's all coming off. So this will all be sold, the double hydraulics will be sold with the blower fan. That's for your rears. So just tease off from the front ones. So. This is on a 1545. So you got this side panel. You do have to cut the bottom to make it fit for the blower fan. This all had to get cut off on the other side. We're gonna be putting a cab on this and using it as a snow unit. So with this, you have to remove the weight block, which we do have one on a parts unit where we'll be putting on. And these will be coming off, going with the bagger, and then we'll be putting on the weight bracket on the back of this one. That opens that up a bunch. So this side just bolts along the side of the support there. So it just clamps it there, and then there's just two bolts back here that just bolt to this. And that one just goes in the front there. Pretty self-explanatory. And the cables just get routed up. Pretty easy. There you can see there's a little pulley. We're taking that off currently. That's what the powerful fan runs off of. There's a switch up here. That's how you turn your fan on. There's a clutch. Clutch in there. That turns your fan on. Here's a little switch. Electric thing that goes up to the switch. This is how I take off the electrical system. This so I'll label it when I take it off, but. All right, so you got this harness here. And it's coming, so you have a relay on this back side here. And then you have the sound up here. So you just take those off there. So then you got the ground to the alternator too. I said I'll label it so it won't matter. And then you got the power coming in, which is right here, off the alternator. So they just both mount to the alternator. So then this is your uh, the one that goes down to the blower switch that mounts on the side. Pretty self-explanatory. And then every time there's a connector, this is for the seat. All it is is a splitter. So you just gotta take the two apart. Because what you'll see it as, these are just connected together for the seat switch. So you just unhook that and then you put the, the splicer part in. Same with this other one that's down here. Say so with the harness, you'll follow it. Because it's all apart. And there's a black one right here. All you do is, because this one will be hooked up, this one down here will be hooked up into the side of this one. Once again, it's the same thing as this, you'd unplug it and then you just plug both ends in onto it. Pretty easy there. And then there's one that goes for a safety, probably better here, that comes up and around here. Comes up and around and then it just bolts onto there so it's for like the foot lever there. So I'm gonna take off this part here. 
And then the one for the light, it just comes up through here. And it comes up this cord here. It comes up the top here and then it just uh, pops into this, this socket right there. So that's the light, so it lets you know when it's... You wanna point to it again? Yeah, this one right here. So. And yeah. And then taking out the switch. Got this all off here. This is the double hydraulic with the rear connection for the bagger hydraulics there. So that all will be going sold with the bagging unit. 